Hey, it's Ron, and I'm here with... Alan. Alan. <laughs> and we're on our third take of doing this right now, because we've messed up a couple times. Um, well, yeah. Alan, I, I messed up. Yeah, okay. The uh, CRM 2011, CRM 5 from Microsoft, online versus on-premise. Yep. Everyone says uh, absolutely no difference right now, but there are some differences. There are some differences. Yeah, and so we popped a few of them up here, and uh, I'll pop them into my blog as well, and you're in your blog probably. And just wanted to say what, what are the differences. So the first thing, with 2011 online, there's no support for custom workflows. Absolutely. Workflows are standard, they're absolutely fine in online and on-premise, but uh, custom workflows, no for online. Uh, custom plugins, fine for online. So. Right. Okay. Uh, 2011 on-premise, you don't have the internet lead capture functionality. Yeah, for sure. right. Yeah, it's just for the online version. Um, CRM 2011 online makes it impossible to a database restore to a specific date and time. Like I couldn't say, uh, call Microsoft and say, roll me back to yesterday at 3.43 p.m. No, because you, you'd have to request in advance that they do a backup at a certain time and that, that I think that they will only give you a day and not a time. Right, right. And in fact, when I've talked to them, if you ask for the backup, it's a one-time request. You ask for it, you're out and you're on on premise. It's a three-time request. Oh, a three-time request? Okay, there you go. Well, um, that's it. Yeah, which makes it difficult for rollout to production because how can you roll back in case you did something for a specific date time? Anyways, uh, that, that's a bigger topic. Uh, CRM 2011 online limits you to 200 custom workflows and 200 custom entities. Okay, that, that's a lot. Yeah. So, I don't think that will bother most no, people. No, that's not going to bother most people. Um, 2011 online, that, <laughs> let's drop this one. We're not down. going for a take four, so we'll just carry on. <laughs> We're not. So, 2011 online uh, requires you to use your Windows Live ID. Yes. The AD authentication is coming. Yeah. But it's not there yet. Yeah, uh, so they, they, it I think they wanted to introduce federated security for 2011, but uh, yeah. they're not yet there yet. And yeah. it, it may be in the next version, or it may be next year. Right, right, right. And actually, bone of contention with online and uh, the live IDs is you can only set up three live IDs in a day from a particular uh, IP. So if you're at a large company and you need to set up 30 people mm -hmm. with their live IDs that day, you need 10 computers, to, uh, 10 different locations to set up the three live IDs unless you get put onto a whitelist and it takes you time to get on the whitelist. Uh, CRM 2011 Online does not offer an email router. That still has to be locally hosted. Yes, for sure. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, standard PC on any network. Right, right, page, right. But it isn't completely in the cloud then, is it? And the, the point that you took off, yeah, because you kind of got it wrong, um, is the point about the reports, and it's a valid point in that the reports are slightly different. On an on-premise report, you would use a SQL connector, um, which is built into the reports, uh, right. SQL Server reports. But for uh, online, you change that to a fetch connector. Okay. Uh, otherwise, there is no difference. Okay. Okay, but if we were to post six differences, CRM 2011 online versus on-premise, these are them, that would help people out. There you go. Okay, good. Hope that helps someone out there. Al, where can people find you on the web? Uh, aashton at knowledgetech.com. Okay, and it's rondajusti.com, and I'm at knowledgetech.